everybody, it's Trisha with Chocolate Musings, and it's been a while since I have posted a plan with me video, a paint with me video, uh, any sort of video. I know that we've all kind of been dealing with the whole world as it is, and mine has been to do some quiet introspection. Um, I am actually just about finished with my Scribbles That Matter book. I've done a lot of painting and I love it. So let's get opened up to June. A lot of people think that you cannot have art and have it be functional at the same time, but as you can see, I use my book quite a bit. Let's see, except for this week, I, I've been neglecting it this week. <laughs> this month, the theme I wanted to go with was ice cream, but when I sat down to draw this out and paint and, and try and figure out what I wanted to do with ice creams, you know, not just the ice cream scoops stacked on each other, though I do have that um, here and for a weekly. When I drew everything out, I'm not sure if it's just the pandemic that's happening right now or, or what's going on, but my ice cream never wanted to be where you'd expect it. So I have ice cream falling into place into a cute glass here. Um, this one, it's kind of ironic that it's on my habits page and my goals page because you know what? A lot of times we fall down and it's okay if you stay there for a little bit and until you can pick yourself up. And then this is a journaling page that I plan on putting in with a um, ice cream sundae. I'm not very good at realism, and so all of my drawings will likely have a um, fun, whimsical look to them. And I'm excited to see what this one looks turns out to look like. This one, um, these are all different kinds of ice cream cones without the ice cream. And the way that I use my planner is I have either an area at the top or the bottom, top or bottom, um, that I can write journal in or write memories or, you know, other notes for the week. And then I have a place for to do's for the day or appointments for the day, that type of thing. So that's how I separate it out top to bottom. Um, at least in most cases. In this case, I probably will use this page as a journaling page and a to-do and appointment keeper page. And um, again, top to bottom and with the illustration separating the two. This is ice cream toppings. I'm not sure that a macaroon is an ice cream topping, but we're going to put that in there anyway because I wanted it in there. And then this is my brain dump page. I don't always call it brain dump, um, and I may come up with a clever name for this later. I have a blog post that actually details out a lot of different names for brain dump. I know that a lot of people don't like that name um, for this page, but they like to have a page where they can spill their thoughts onto the page. Um, so this one probably will have a different name, but I just wanted to know what I was going to name it or what I was going to do with this page. So I have been doing a lot of watercolor painting, as you can see, and I love it. And I am going to continue on that vein. 
um, with this month and I'm excited to get started. This month, I decided to do my June welcome page on the left and the monthly calendar on the same spread on the right. The dimensions of the calendar are 1.5 centimeters wide um, or three dots wide by two centimeters high or four dots. I generally use my monthly calendar as a high level overview of the month's activities and will add specifics as needed on each of the weekly layouts. Once I'm completely finished with all the designs on the weeklies and the monthly, then I'll come back and add any appointments or any birthdays to the calendar. This will be a functional planning space for me and um, I'll add some notes and other things down here too and yeah it'll be a great month I'm looking forward to it this is my habits page um, it's a ice cream cone that was tipped on its head and I'm sure someone is very sad about that it's immensely appropriate for my habit page, um, I plan on having a quote that says, it's okay if you fall, it's not okay if you stay there. So we need to get up and even after we fall. And this is my monthly page that it's going to follow the same type of theme and have the very whimsical 
bright colors, um, non-realistic feel to it. I'm going to jump in and get started um, painting the ice cream and then I will fill in the details afterwards. All right, as soon as that is dry, I will ink over it. I'll put the lines down for my habits and um, I'm gonna add my goals here, or at least letter that in. Perfect, I like it. And if you kind of do a mid-year habit check or mid-year goal check, this is kind of what this is. And hopefully I'm trying to get back on on track. 2020, 2020 has really tried to derail us all. And um, this is my effort to get back on track and see if I can make the last half of the year better than the first half. Moving on to the journal page, I will give you a before paint and an after I paint for this one. I have to say that I love how it turned out. Throughout the month, I'll record memories and events, and this page quickly becomes one of my very favorite spreads for the month. like I have left on this page is to write um, journal link page but I'm not sure what I want, really want to call it yet but I really like the way this turned out. The ice cream with the watercolors it just kind of I really like the way it turned out. I'm excited for it. Next up I'll give you a little bit of the process for my weekly pages. I find that this year my weeklies have been very minimal as far as boxes or layouts and I will mostly illustrate something to go with the theme and then fill in the space around the illustration with what works for the week. So I will have an area for appointments and to do specific for the day. And then the other section of the page I will use for either journal or notes or grocery shopping. Some weeks I need a lot of journaling space. Uh, other times I use the space for notes such as planning this video or a blog post. 
I don't really label the blank space until I need to use it for a specific purpose. The first week I decided on a quote that says, how will you fill your days? Which I think goes perfectly with the empty ice cream cones. It's a reminder to me that we have a choice of what we do with our time and our efforts. Yes, I did intend to make these ribbons different lengths. It was something I was trying out. I think if I do this next time, they will either be the same length or, or they will steadily increase or decrease in length. The right side of this page, I will use as a journaling page or a notes page. So it won't go as wasted space. This weekly's page, I decided to draw the outlines first and then paint over the outlines. If you decide to do this, make sure that the pen you're using will not smear once you add watercolor to the page. There is one section on the strawberry that I didn't let the pen dry long enough and the ink kind of ran. I'm not too worried about it though. 
I really like the way this page turned out. The quote for this page is top off your day with something good as a reminder to me to look for the good every day. Even if it's finding a sweet smelling rose or a gardenia bush outside or enjoying the sunshine. Make an effort to find something good every single day. The last page of my ice cream themed bullet journal is my brain dump page. I like to call the pages something other than brain dump. So this month is called delectable ideas, which I have to give credit to my husband for coming up with that name. All I have to say other than that is don't let any seagulls steal your ideas. That is it for this plan with me video. 
I hope I've given you a bit of inspiration and maybe you'll try something new in your bullet journal next time. Be sure to check out the links below for other videos and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Bye everybody. Have a good month.